In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Inkscape version 48 to create a vector style beer mug graphic similar to what you see here on my screen. So let's open up a new document and get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll open up the Align and Distribute menu by clicking this button right here. Make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that menu. And then we'll open up the uh, Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu by clicking that button. And then we'll go to View, make sure you have Custom selected. And then we'll go to Zoom, we're going to zoom in one to one. Then we'll go to File, Document Properties. We'll uncheck these two boxes and then close out of that menu. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle. So come over here to this button that says Create Rectangles and Squares and click on that. And come over here to the canvas and just click and drag to make a nice long rectangle, kind of like that. And make sure you have the color set to red. And come over to where, where it says Opacity, make sure it's uh, slidden in half, somewhere in the 50s like that. And then afterwards, come up here to this little circle right here and just click and drag that down to about there. And then come back up to this first uh, circle up top here and click and drag that over to the left. We're going to bring that all the way over to the left, as far as it'll let you bring it. And we'll actually take this first one and bring it down a little bit. You want, to, you want to make it look something like this, like you see here on my screen. And once you get there, come back over to the arrow. Let's right click this and go to Duplicate. And then while holding the Control key on your keyboard, click and drag this duplicated copy over here. And then right click it and go to Duplicate again. And then while holding the Control key, once again, click and drag this over here. So you have them spaced out like that. Now let's click and drag over all three of these and let's come down here to the Align and Distribute menu. We're going to find this button under Distribute that says um, Make Horizontal Gaps Between Objects Equal. We're going to click that and that's going to space all three of them out evenly. And once you've done that with all three of them selected still, let's go to Path, Union. And then we're going to right click this and go to Duplicate and we're going to turn that black and we're going to come up here to where it says lower selection one step. We're going to click that once to lower it below the red copies. And then we're going to come up here to stroke paint. Click on the stroke paint tab and let's click that blue button to turn that on. And then we'll come over here to the stroke style tab. And where it says width, we're going to we're going to erase uh, the number 1 and we're going to type in 15 and then hit enter. Actually, we'll do 17. We'll try 17 and hit enter. Okay, that's good right there. And then where it says join, we're going to click this button right here that says round join. And then we're going to go to path, stroke to path. Then we'll go to path, break apart, path, union. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back to our rectangle tool. We're going to click on that and let's click and drag over this and create a rectangle going over the whole thing kind of like this. And come up here to where it says stroke paint and let's click the X button to turn that off. Okay, now let's let's take this um, this this uh, circle on the top left right here, and let's bring this all the way over to the left as far as it'll let you go. And then we'll take this other circle right here, and we'll click and drag this down to about there. You want it to look something like that. And then come back to your arrow, and let's go to path, path, object to path, and then we're gonna come over here where it says lower selection to the bottom. We're gonna click that. And then while holding the shift key on your keyboard, click on this red object. And with them both selected, let's go to center on vertical axis and then center on horizontal axis. So you have them centered up like that. Now let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And then let's click on just this um, black rectangle we just created. Let's right click this and go to duplicate. We'll turn that blue. And then we'll right click this and duplicate it again. And we'll turn that green. And then while holding control on your keyboard, let's click and drag this down all the way down to about here, I'd say. You want to get it to about there. And then while holding shift on your keyboard, click on that blue object we just created. And with them both selected, let's go to path intersection. And then we'll take this and we'll, we'll hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this down to about here. And let's lower that to the bottom with this button right here that says lower selection to the bottom. We'll click that once. 
and then while holding control and shift on your keyboard if you look over here in the bottom left side of the screen it'll show you which keys I'm pressing on my keyboard so control and shift and let's grab one of these core arrows and let's enlarge this to about there we want to make it about that much bigger and I'm actually gonna hold control and click and drag this up a little bit because I want you want to make it so that the space between this black object and the blue object, you see the thickness right there? You want to have about that same thickness on the bottom. So I'm going to hold control and click and drag it so it looks all equal going along the edge there. Okay. Then what we'll do next is we're going to come over to our Create uh, Circles and Ellipses tool. We're going to click on that and we're going to come up here and we're going to hold control on the keyboard and click and drag and let's make an ellipse about that big. And then let's go over to our arrow. Let's click on that. And let's position this right about here. You want to have it positioned right about here. And then we'll right click this and go to duplicate. And while holding control, let's click and drag this top arrow and shrink that down a little bit. And let's click and drag this over here off to the side a little bit. And I'm actually going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to hold control on the keyboard. I'm going to shrink that down to about that size. And I'm going to position that about right there. And then I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate and bring this one over here and I'm gonna hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this arrow. I'm actually gonna make this a little bigger. Not quite as big as this first one but a little bit bigger than that second one right there. And then we'll right click this and go to duplicate and we'll bring this over here and hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this down. We want to make this the smallest one. We'll make that about that big kinda of like that and I'll position that right about there. Now let's hold shift on the keyboard and click on all of these green circles so you have all four of them selected and let's right click and go to duplicate and we're going to turn them blue and then while holding control on your keyboard press the 9 key so you're going to press control and 9 and that's going to inset them make them a little smaller I'm going to do that maybe one or two more times so control 9 and maybe one more time control 9 we want to make them about that much smaller and then afterwards you can click off of everything to deselect them and then let's click on just this first blue square right, uh, blue circle right here and let's right click that and go to duplicate and we'll turn that red and while holding control on the keyboard grab this top left arrow over here and let's click and drag this down to about there down to about there and then while holding control again let's grab this bottom right arrow and let's click and drag this out to about I'd say out to about there and then while holding shift in your keyboard click on that blue circle beneath it so you have both of them selected and let's go to path difference so you end up with something like that and then we're going to do the same thing up here we're going to take this one we're going to right click it duplicate we're going to turn that red and while holding control on the keyboard we're going to grab this top arrow and we're going to click and drag this down to about there and then we'll grab this bottom one while holding control on the keyboard and we'll click and drag this out to about there and then while holding shift on the keyboard click on the blue circle beneath it and let's go to path difference we'll do the same thing over here we'll click this, this uh, blue circle right here right click it duplicate turn that red hold control grab this top arrow and click and drag it down to about there then holding control again grab this bottom arrow let's click and drag that out to about there hold shift and click on the blue circle beneath it so you have them both selected and we'll go to path difference and we'll take this very last one we'll right click that and go to duplicate turn that red and let's hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this top right arrow click and drag this down to about here and then holding control again let's grab this bottom left arrow and bring that out to about there and then hold shift on the keyboard and click on that blue circle you want to have them both selected like that and we'll go to path difference so we end up with something like that now let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything and let's take this black rectangle in the background let's right click this and go to duplicate and let's hold shift and click on this first green circle and let's go to path difference then we'll do this again we'll grab that black rectangle right click it duplicate hold shift and click on this third uh, green circle we're gonna skip this big one in the middle here we'll go to path difference and then we'll do this one more time we'll grab this uh, 
this black rectangle, right click, duplicate, hold shift, click on the green circle, go to path, difference. And then we're going to click this big green circle in the middle right here. We're going to right click this and go to duplicate and hold shift and click on that black rectangle. And let's go to path, difference. So we end up with something like this. Okay. What we can do next is let's go to our magnifying glass. Let's click on that. And let's click and drag over this big circle so we can uh, zoom in and see what we're going to do next. Once you've zoomed into here, go back to our arrow, click on that. And let's take this blue crescent right here, click on that, and then right click it and go to duplicate. And while holding shift, let's click on this blue crescent to the left over here. And we'll go to path, difference, and then path, break apart and we'll click off of the graphic to deselect everything and then we'll click on just this piece right here and we'll press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and then we're going to do this again we're going to click on this top uh, crescent right here right click it duplicate hold shift click on this crescent over here let's go to path difference and then path break apart and let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything and click on just this little piece, this little tail end here, and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. Now let's press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. And let's click on this first crescent, and then hold shift and click on the other three so you have all four of them selected. And let's go to path union. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we're going to create the handle on the side of this beer mug. So we're going to come over here to the rectangle, we're going to click on that, and start it out somewhere around here, I'd say just above this, uh, this right um, cylinder on the right. We're going to start it just above it. And we're just going to click and drag and create a rectangle about that big. And let's go back to the arrow and let's actually um, make this a little shorter. You don't want this touching that green circle up there. You want it a fair bit below it. And you want this to be a fair bit above this red ring right here. So once you're there, let's go to uh, Fill the fill tab, we'll turn that off with the X button. Then we'll go to the stroke tab, we'll turn that on with the blue button. And come over here to stroke style and let's try out a 30 point stroke. So let's type in 30 and hit enter. Maybe a little thicker than that. So let's try 40. Let's erase that and go to 40, hit enter. I think that works. Okay, so we'll do 40. And then while holding control on the keyboard, click and drag this in so it's a little smaller. There we go. So once you get there, let's turn that stroke into a path. So we'll go to path, stroke to path. And let's hold shift on the keyboard and click on this black rectangle in the background. And then click on this blue shape in the background. And let's unify all three of them together. So we'll go to path, union. So we end up with something like that. Now let's click and drag over the whole thing. Kind of like that. Let's right click it and go to duplicate. And we'll go to Path, Union. We'll turn that black. We'll drop that all the way to the bottom with this button right here, lower selection to the bottom. Come over to the Stroke Paint tab. We'll turn that on with that blue button. Come over to Stroke Style and let's try out a 13 point stroke. So type 1, 3 and hit Enter. Um, now maybe we'll do a 15. Let's try a 15 point stroke. Okay, that works. Once you have a 15 point stroke, let's go to Path, stroke to path. Let's turn that red and let's go to edit, duplicate, and we'll turn that black and then we'll lower this to the bottom with lower selection to the bottom. We'll click that and let's come over to the stroke paint tab and let's turn that on. And then we could actually, we can go to path, stroke to path and it should end up with something like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the Fill tab, we're going to go down to Opacity, we're going to turn that all the way up, and actually let's click and drag over this entire thing, and let's turn the Opacity all the way up on the entire thing, and we can start coloring this thing in. So click off of it to deselect everything, and first let's click on this, uh, this, these red shapes in the middle here, and we're going to pick a nice dark shade of brown for that, maybe something like that. And then we'll click on the black border behind it, and we'll turn that white. And then we'll click on this blue shape right here. And you could press F7 on your keyboard to bring up the dropper tool. 
and just click on that that brown those brown those three brown shapes to make it the same color and then we can go back to our arrow and let's click on this red border in the background over here and once you have that selected let's turn that white and then we'll go back over here so we'll go back to this black shape in the background over here and we'll press F7 on the keyboard to bring up the dropper tool and we'll make that brown as well and let's go back to our arrow and let's click on these blue shapes right here these blue crescents let's press F7 to bring up the dropper tool and we'll make those brown as well and then we can actually just press F1 on the keyboard to get back to the arrow if you don't want to keep coming over here to click on things you can press F1 to get back to the arrow and let's click on these this green these green, green objects right here and let's turn them white so let's click on each one of them and turn them white individually and then the last one we'll turn that white and then we can click and drag over this whole thing and we can group it together and you could hold control and shift on the keyboard to shrink this down a little bit and as you'll see we have created a vector style beer mug as you can see on my screen my graphics card is glitching a little bit this little this little portion in here should be white but it's as you can see it's turning brown so you'll have to excuse that this is a glitch on my end this is what it should look like when you're all done so if you have any questions just let me know and thank you for watching